Hi, welcome to Danny on the Go Special Season 2. I'm Danny. In this video, I'm going to show you what you can expect in KL Tower, Malaysia in 2024. Before, Before I continue, I... let me show you the location of KL Tower in Kuala Lumpur. It's located in Kuala Lumpur city centre on Jalan Punca. One can either walk from the entrance which takes about 10 minutes or drive in with a parking fee of 4 ringgit per hour and subsequent hour of 3 ringgit or take the KL hop on hop off bus which is 30 ringgit daily pass where the bus will stop in front of the KL Tower compound. I decided to walk in as I was having a staycation nearby. It's not an easy walk as the tower is located on the hill. But it can be better to walk in the morning as the heat is not that bad. However, there are clear signs along the way to climb the staircase and will lead to the basement of the tower. Another reason to walk in the morning is to beat the crowd which I will also have some tips for visitors to this tower along the video. So please stay until the end of the video. KL Tower was constructed in 1991 and opened in 1995 and served as a telecommunication and broadcasting tower. Besides, there is a revolving restaurant which I did make a visit in 2006, two observation decks, one outdoor and one indoor for visitors to marvel at the city skyline. It is the seventh tallest communication tower in the world, with a height of 421 meters and located just beside the KL Eco Park Reserve Forest. I will be visiting three parts of the tower today. The Tower Walk 100, which is a walk around the outside of the tower on a fence grill platform, the Sky Deck and Sky Box an outbox observation deck on a level of 300 meters which is the highest part visitor can go on this tower and the observation deck an indoor air conditioned place to rest and marvel on the KL city skyline on 276 meter high if you want to know how much i pay for all these activities you can check on the description below it's open at 9 am daily i was a bit early so i stroll along at the compound in front of the entrance There is this World Peace Gong located at the entrance of the parking where one can take photo with. Gong is a Malay traditional music instrument. As I just mentioned, if one is taking the KL hop on hop off bus, the bus stop is just in front here. There is a map of the bus road beside the bus stop too. The disadvantage is the bus will only start to operate daily from 10 a.m., which may be a little late when one gets here. As the KL Tower is located just beside the forest reserve, very often one will be able to spot some wildlife, and in this morning, I'm able to see a pair of eagles soaring near the KL Tower. Entrance to this KL Tower is not free. Here is the price of the different activities they provide here. Price is vary from local and foreigners. You may pause the video to look at the price closely. One need to have their bag scanned before entering to the lift. A friendly reminder to all visitors to dress light as most of the place does not have air condition and it's quite hot and high humid here. There will be staff helping up to navigate on the lift area on each floor. They are all very friendly. Just show them your ticket and they will help you press the lift. The lift moves very fast. Within seconds, I am at 100 meters above the ground. The 
these are the safety rules for this activity. The staff will direct me to the locker and changing room at the site where I have to store all my important belongings inside the locker. I believe no one wants to drop anything down. Then the staff will help me put on the harness and helmet for safety. After that, I will be directed to go out. Very excited. By the way, this room is air conditioned. Outside, there will be another staff help me to secure the safety belt which is locked along the metal bar on the walk to the harness I'm wearing. Then I'm free to go by myself. The walk is very fast, which will take about a minute. But because I'm the first person here and there is no one behind me, I can take my time to walk around here. That is the reason why I'm here so early. I can feel I'm so small beside this huge towel and I'm literally walking on the fence where I can see the ground under me. One thing is, it will be better if this wall is located even higher, say on the observation deck level or so, it will be more chilling. Anyway, from here, I can see the skyline very clearly too. There is the KLCC Twin Tower and the TRX building on the far end there. At times, I have to check the fence is stable or not. They are just a very low level of glass panels at the side of the path. It's a cloudy morning and with little wind out here. Note that this activity will be cancelled if it rains and it's not refundable. So there is a high risk if one book this activity online. I advise you to buy the ticket from the ticket booth once you arrive at the base of the tower. It's very safe walking here even though I have to keep double check here and there while walking. Here I can see the 118 building the second tallest building in the world. Further on, in front of me, the path becomes more fascinating with transparent glass flooring. I can clearly see the ground here under my feet. <laughs> it's so scary! It's illusion these are led lights glass and actually they have a cracks illusion for you to feel a little bit scary but actually it's nothing here it's, it's okay to walk on it it's very very fun here wow it's so good <laughs> and you can see this is the front entrance of the kl tower it's really fun here even though it's not really high but it is just actually good to experience on a open air walking without any boundary I mean just only have a harness and a safety belt here very nice to walk and it's not expensive let's go on it's really good to come early to beat the crowd and I can do all kind of pose without having anyone chasing behind me I can even dance on top of this glass walk On this part where there is no fence at all at the side, I can even sit down and relax here. 
Just make sure your pocket is zipped or empty and your shoes are tightly worn. Okay, I'm back to the starting point. I have to go to the top floor, the sky deck. Let's go. Upon finishing the walk, the staff will come out and release the safety belt, and I have to walk to the changing room to get all my belongings back. Next, I head to the sky deck and same also, there will be a staff helping visitors to press on the lift. Lifts moves very fast. And upon reaching, I need to show the staff on the floor the ticket at the entrance. Here and outside, one can truly see the 360 degrees view of the city in the outdoor under the sky. This morning is a bit foggy and the view is not that clear, but still can see many landmarks around. In this place, one should not miss to go into one of the two sky box, which is made of glass with additional 10 ringgit and there is time limit inside. By the time I arrive here, there is already a group of family inside. There is a time limit of 45 seconds per group in the box. So try to grab as many photos as possible inside. If one come late or when they are a long queue, you have to wait until the queuing number call, then only will be able to get into the skybox. There are two skybox. One box is facing the KLCC Twin Tower and another box is facing the 118 building. I have chosen the one facing the KLCC Twin Tower this time. Walking out of this glass box, really thrilling as the ground is just under me 300 meters below. If one without afraid of height must try. The view is nice while standing in this transparent glass box. There will be a staff helping the visitor to take the photo using their camera. After all the polls suggested, you can pass your camera to him to take your own photo as the photos taken using their camera need to be purchased. After the skybox, there is no time limit for one to stay in the sky deck, but it started to get very hot up here. So I better move to the lower observation deck to rest. Before heading to the lift, there is this photo booth inside here where one can view and purchase those photos that have been taken in the skybox. Toilet is available here too. Why not taking this opportunity to experience peeing on 300 meters from the ground? There is a wall where it is showing all the famous towers in the world beside here, including this KL Tower.
When I started to wait at the leaf, I can see there is already a line queuing to go into the sky deck. Upon reaching to the lower observation deck, everything becomes more comfortable here. It's air conditioned inside here and there are benches with glass mirrors surrounding 360 degrees where one can look at the different angle of Kuala Lumpur city. There are binoculars around where one can look into it for free. There is no time limit in this place, so one can stay here as long as you want. On every glass panel, we'll see the Kuala Lumpur landmarks you can find on the particular angle. As the KL Tower is located in the middle of Kuala Lumpur city, there will be the directions of the area from Kuala Lumpur on each side where it will be clearly stated on top of each glass panel. Like the Ulu Klang direction, Genting Highland direction, Gombak direction, Kepong direction, Kapa direction, Shah Alam direction, Sri Hatamas direction. Sungai Besi directions. Serdang direction. Chenras direction. And Uchung direction. I will make my way down after cooling myself in this place. I've spent around 2 hours in KL Tower, but if you are coming in the afternoon, especially during weekend or public holiday, you may not be able to explore so freely as I do now. So the tips here is to come early on weekend to avoid the crowd, especially the big tour groups. One may need to queue for hours for one activity and it's truly not a good feeling under the heat especially on the sky deck. I hope you enjoy my video and if you do, please like and subscribe my channel as it means a lot to me. Hope to see you again on my next video. Until then, bye!